A bill con to continue Montana's multi-million dollar Medicaid expansion program cleared its first legislative hurdle tonight, but not before it saw some extensive changes, a lot of pointed discussion, and some cliff-hanging votes. MTN's Mike Dennison was there and tells us how it all happened. After more than an hour of debate and multiple votes, the House Human Services Committee voted 11 to 8 to approve House Bill 658, which continues the program that currently provides health coverage to 96,000 low-income adults in Montana. The big change in the bill sponsored by Republican Representative Ed Buttrey of Great Falls is a form of work requirements to be eligible for the benefit. Buttrey told MTN News after the vote that he believes the requirement won't cause thousands of people to be removed from the program. We're pretty famous for our Montana-made solutions, especially in health care. And I think uh, we, we're going to do it in a way that is going to make sure that uh, we know a large percentage of these folks are working and likely meet the community engagement requirements already. But the panel took a circuitous route to approve the bill and send it to the House floor. Republicans who hold a majority on the panel first amended work requirements into Democrat Marika Farrow's Medicaid bill. We're talking about the 34-year-old who is sitting on the couch playing video games, okay, um, is now depressed because not getting enough sleep because they play too long, not eating correctly, and not exercising, not socializing, but yet can draw Medicaid. Yet Democrats on the panel then moved to kill Caffaro's bill, saying they couldn't support the work requirements, and Republicans agreed. That left the committee with only Buttrey's bill, which Democrats then revealed they would support after some of its requirements were softened. I think we recognize that the political context changed, and there's 96,000 people who are anxious watching what we're going to do in this building and wondering whether they're going to have health insurance in July. Conservative Republicans on the panel, however, said the bill had been changed too much, although they knew it had the votes to pass. I can count to 10. I can, I've been sitting here just like all of you, and I can see where this is going to go. But this bill, the way it is now, not knowing everything that's in it and how it's going to impact everyone, I just cannot support this bill. Buttrey said the policy in the bill is much like its original form. Three Republicans, including Buttrey, joined all eight Democrats on the committee to advance the bill, which still must go through the House floor, another committee, the Senate, and the governor's pen to become law. As Buttrey said afterwards, it's a long road to get it done. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Thanks, Mike. Now, Medicaid expansion is set to expire in Montana this June unless lawmakers vote to extend it.